Hi everyone, David Maley here, and today I'm going to show you real quickly how to get cluster information, in particular k-means cluster information, as to what is the approximate or best uh, selection of cluster size for a uh, customer segmentation or a sample of data. So it could be for any data set. So what I want to show you here is a real quick way to get it. So this right here, this box right here, this is called Rattle, and I have other videos online that show you exactly on my channel that show you exactly how to load in and the package, you know, install package of Rattle and how to load it in and everything and all its components. Basically, in here, you go into data, you go right here under file name, you click here, you open this up, and you it will, you know, you can select the uh, source of your data. So in this case, I could pick anything I want, you know, on my drive or you know any flat file to CSV. If that's what it likes. And then when I'm done with that, I hit execute and run it. And then when I'm done with that, it'll you know fill this in with all the fields, and I could pick the uh, the input field, the identifier. In this case, is day to day. This is a uh, bike share data set. Um, this is from the University of California, Irving, uh, Irving, California and it's a free data set but you could use any data set you want to you load it in it'll tell you you know and you select your target in this case count it's sales it's daily sales um, then once you're done with that and you've executed you go to cluster right here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna create this chart right over here called the sum of within over the number of clusters so it's your sum of withins and uh, so what that is in K means you're gonna select k-means right here cluster k-means see it right there and then next you're going to select iterate clusters if you don't select that it's going to give you the data down here if you iterate the clusters it's going to show them all here and then what you want to do is you want to pick a bigger number you don't want to pick three because it's only going to pick one through zero through three it's not going to you know that may not be the approximate where the cluster should be so you're going to pick a number like 20 or 25 and you know so you put that in here and then you just hit execute. When you hit execute, it'll pop in here. So this is a standalone. It stands outside of this is our studio behind it. But what will happen is the graph from this will actually show up right here in your R Studio or R if you're just running R. And uh, it's under plot. So if you're in viewer or something like that, you may not see it. You want to be under plots. And I'll bring it back in, click this. And um, when I run this, this is the this is what I get on this data. So for this data set, what you want to do is you look at the, the blue and the red line and where do they come closest. Okay, so out of all of these points, you have a bunch of them here where they're close, right? And then they're farther away, this one comes closer, but then you've got this special point right here where it actually touches. When it touches, that means you have a chance of a 100% chance of some very strong clustering of your uh, whatever your data is. Okay, so in this case, three is extreme. That's where that is. About three, three is an extremely strong, you know, instance of how many clusters I should be using with this data set or looking at. I could also go and look at uh, maybe eight here if I want to. It's a little bit far away, but probably somewhere around you know seventeen would be a good one. Twenty. Those are also good too. But the strongest is going to be right here at three, no doubt about it. This is how you determine right here exactly, you know, this is what I would use for the clusters. Now you take this and go further and you can either uh, score it in here, which will append to your data. So if your data set has, uh, you know, whatever fields it has in it, so I could look, I don't know, I haven't loaded that data set in here, but in our studio, but you can look at your fields and you'll add a column for your clustering, okay? And what I'll do is for every field, I'll go one, two, three, or whatever it is to, uh, you know, for your cluster. And then you can take that out and graph it somewhere. You can put it in Excel. You can start drawing insights based on your clusters. You can draw them within R. There's other ways to do it. I'm going to do that in another video. But I just want to give you a quick, simple way that within seconds, you load this up, load your data set. It doesn't take long to load it unless it's a huge data set. Um, it doesn't take long. This data set here literally takes probably four or five seconds maybe and you just hit execute and then just go right here to cluster and uh, K means I put 25 in iterate your clusters make sure that's checked uh, and then just hit execute right here 
and there it is right there. There's your sum and your difference. And what you want to do is, again, look at this and look at where they're closest. Well, obviously, it's right there at 3. There you go. You have your optimum number of clusters. If you wanted more, you can do that. But, you, you know, there's never going to be 100% other than when it crosses over. So that's how you do a k-means cluster identification, you know, to figure out how many clusters we want. Then you can go into many different programs. You can do it in R. You can do it in Altrix. You can do it in uh, back in Rattle here. Um, and there's a lot of other programs that you can go into to figure out uh, Python, whatever, where you want to go with those clusters, you know, to create, you know, different graphs based on them and then look in seg into segmentation. And then you can go into uh, appending your data and doing some pretty interesting stuff with it. So this is the first step. Uh, is to identify the, you know, the uh, the optimal clusters, and that's what we did right here. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you want to learn more about Rattle, I've got plenty of other videos on my channel. If you want to learn more about clusters, I'm going to have plenty of more videos on my channel. I'm going to be working on that this weekend to have some great videos for you on that. This is just to figure out for you quickly what is the optimal number of clusters, and this is really important with Alteryx. And the reason being is Alteryx has two parts to k-means clusters. So the first part of identifying it takes it forever on a good size, on a regular to good size database or set, and uh, it could take it days. Versus uh, if you do it through this, it literally takes seconds, and then you just go back in Alteryx and punch in your uh, your three you know as your optimal cluster size and run it and you can get some great data so I'll show you how to do that in Alteryx too but I'm going to show you how to do it in R and several different ways so thanks again for watching I hope you found this helpful please subscribe and like and have a great day